Thanks for tuning in to WSKI TV 17. Time to take a check of your latest local forecast brought to you by the Widowmaker. Found the, find them in the Base Lodge, located upstairs in the Base Lodge, and they'll be opening up for the season on Friday with a fresh new look. Find this and much more on all your internet devices at WSKITV.com. Well, overnight Wednesday night into Thursday, we should see some accumulating snow, especially higher on the hill. Uh, could start out as some rain and then switching over to some snow and snow showers uh, heading into the day on Thursday. We'll see some very gusty winds on the day for Thursday. High temperatures in the mid-20s, uh, high temperatures in the base, uh, at the base in the lower 30s. Becoming partly sunny for the day on Friday, looking like a great day to get out there. That wind will still be hanging around though, so you want to be aware of that, especially uh, up higher on the hill. Summer temperatures cool, 14 to 18, base temperatures 22 to 26, so that means those snowmakers will be back out there as well. Saturday, we'll see partly sunny skies out there. Wind looks like it will still be hanging around. 14 will do it for your low at the summit, 25 for your high at the base. On Sunday, we'll see some increasing clouds. Could see some snow developing, a 50-50 chance of that. 31 will do it for your high, 22 for your low, and 17 will do it for your low on Monday with a 50% chance of uh, a sh uh, some snow out there. And it looks like 29 will do it for your high down here around the base. Thursday, November 28th, we're looking at 14 trails of ski and ride on, three lifts getting you those runs, nine trails on the groomers list. They may or may not groom out hay burn so that may change to eight groomed trails here on scheduled grooming you'll see the landing boardwalk tote road pinch candy side pv crosscut king's landing and the upper tote road terrain park snowmaking will resume on thursday on narrow gauge as well as skidder and the landing here are your lifts for 8 30 super quad will get you to a variety of the or pretty much to all the open terrain double runner east will get you for runs down boardwalk and skidway will get you to your runs on the landing if you're here with your family. Narrow Gauge Pathway has been groomed, so if you want to do some cross-country skiing, head down there. There's three trailheads to take advantage of. Uh, and Thanksgiving, buffet and food drive at the Shipyard Brew House. A great deal. You get a little bit better of a deal if you bring in some canned food to donate. Also, at Teapon Lodge and Cabins, Off the Beaten Path Restaurant and Pub, they are having uh, Thanksgiving dinner as well. So be sure to call ahead and get a reservation for that. And want to let you know that Spillover Motel, just up on Main Street in Stratton, is looking for vendors for their outdoor Christmas market happening December 7th. So if you want to get more information on that, call the Spillover. And want to also let you know that the Sugar Bowl will be closed on Thanksgiving, but they'll be opening back up on Friday at 2 p.m. Also some live music on Wednesday evening to enjoy. And the new and improved Widowmaker will be opening up up on Friday, November 29th, upstairs in the Base Lodge. So be sure to go check that out. It looks fantastic. Now, before you go with WSKI TV 17, you can find us online at WSKITV.com for this latest local forecast, our live quad cam shot, so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain, as well as lots of videos of things to do to keep you busy while you're here in the main High Peaks region. Also, want to let you know to check us out on social media. We hang out on Facebook, Twitter, as well as Instagram for all the updates.